Today's Builder's Blog was inspired by a workflow built by Formstack partner Kyle Simmons of Launch and Land. The example in this tutorial shows how an agency might build an insurance quote process for golf country clubs. However, this workflow can be easily tailored to any insurance agency. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial you'd like to see on our Builder's Blog, feel free to leave it in the comments below. We've gotten started using Formstack's drag and drop builder to add several fields to our form. Today, I'll show you a few of the form features we're adding to this form to make it as user-friendly as possible for our customers. We're going to use the form extras tab to give our form invisible columns so we can organize it. This makes our form appear shorter and easier to read. We want to make sure the most important fields on our form are completed. On those fields, we'll toggle on the required star. Now, we're going to add hidden calculations to our form to calculate our quote. As an example, let's create a calculation for a club with a bowling alley. First, we'll drag and drop a number field into the desired section. Our customers don't need to see the behind the scenes of our calculations, so we'll make this field hidden. We'll update the currency settings as needed and toggle on the calculation function. Under the calculation function, we'll just put in the cost for the bowling alley. Adding conditional logic here to ensure that this field only appears when our customers say that they do have a bowling alley. On our next calculation field, we're going to use the functions. For motorized boats, the cost for insurance is $109 per boat. Here we'll add another hidden field. We'll do the same thing we did for the previous calculation, but we'll utilize the Formstack calculation functions. We'll pull in the motorized boats field and multiply by the cost. For our workflow, we've added a section called underwriter approval and two fields for our approver to complete. Before we wrap up the work on our form, we're going to edit the colors and images on our form so they match with our brand identity. Under Advanced Styles, we've added our logo to the top of our form. We've also updated the colors of our buttons and the section heading to match our brand. There is an advanced CSS code editor that will allow you even more customization options if needed. Once you've finalized your changes, hit Save and Activate. Now we'll head over to the Workflow tab. We've titled the first section of our workflow Customer Data Entry, and we've chosen the sections we want our customers to be able to see. For the next step, we've required a login and selected the user we'd like to complete our form. For this step of the workflow, we're including all of our form sections, but only giving the underwriter the ability to edit the final section. Finally, we've added logic to this section so the workflow is completed based on approval. Once you've finished, hit Save Settings and publish your workflow. If for some reason the client is not approved, we'll want to send them an email. To do this, we'll navigate to Settings and head over to Emails and Actions. Click Add Confirmation Email. Here we've typed up the email that we'll send to clients that are not approved. Once we've saved, we can add logic to the email. Next, we're ready to connect our form to our Formstack Documents files. Authenticate your account if you haven't already. We will be generating two documents with the data provided by customers on the form, an application confirmation and an insurance quote. Now, let's head over to our Formstack Documents account. We've already added our documents using the Formstack Document Builder. Here, you can see that we've added our logo and all of the fields we'll be capturing data for. Merge fields are created using open bracket, dollar sign, field name with no spaces, close bracket. One thing I'd like to point out on this document is how to add an e-signature tag and integrate with Formstack Sign for e-signature collection. Simply select where you'd like your signature to appear on your document, choose Insert, e-signature tag, Formstack Sign, and Signature. Do the same for your date. Make sure to change the color of your tags to white so your final signatures populate correctly. Because we're populating two documents with our form, rather than integrate with each document individually, we're going to use a data route. In your Formstack Documents account, choose New Data Route. Give your route a title and choose the documents you'd like to send data to. When we've chosen our documents, we'll set up our approval email and request for e-signature. 
we have set up two delivery options. First, we want our documents to be sent to customers by email as a confirmation that they were received. Secondly, we want our customers to review the data they provided and sign the documents. Now that we've set up our documents and data route, we're ready to connect our form fields to our document fields. On your form settings, select your data route, and a list of the fields on your document will appear. Once you've connected your fields, you're ready to run a test. Add some test data to your form, check your approvals, and e-sign your document. Don't get stuck wasting time on a process you could automate. Start a free trial of the FormSec platform today to create your own custom insurance workflows without code.